Hey girlies, it's Tammy, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be swatching and testing the new Revolution Conceal and Define shades. They released seven new shades. They're all like 0.5 shades apart from the first shade, which is zero. So what I'm gonna start by doing is swatching the 0.5 shades as well as their um, shades that they're in between, if that makes sense. So I'll do like 12, 12.5, 13 like that. So you guys can see the gradient. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into this. So first of all, they released a zero shade, which is white. Now I don't think I should swatch this on my face because it's literally just a white shade. It doesn't have any undertones. It's literally just white. So if you do find any of the concealers, like for example, C1 or 0.5 just doesn't work for you or it's not highlighting enough, you can definitely grab the white and brighten it up. So next we have 0.5 and this one is a pinky undertoned concealer. I hope you guys can see that. Like there's no point me swatching it on my face because you can't see really. I mean, in real life, I can definitely see the pink undertone I just don't know if it's coming across well on camera because on my monitor they both just look white but I didn't want to leave out the lighter shades just in case a couple of you guys did want to see it swatch so now we're swatching C1 and this one has more of a yellowy beige undertone so as you can see zero is white 0 0.5 is pink and then C1 is yellow so there you have a close-up of the three concealers Okay, so the next new shade is 6.5. So I'm gonna swatch six. I'll do this one on my face. So that is six. Now let's go ahead and do 6.5, which to me looks lighter. That looks like it should be 5.5. Like that is lighter than six. And then last but not least, we have seven. I really don't know if these swatches are even helpful, but I hope it is. <laughs> okay, so the next one is 8.5. So first I'm gonna do eight. That is eight, so it has like a yellowy peach undertone. Then we have 8.5, which once again is lighter, but it does have a more yellowy undertone. So this one's definitely got a peach undertone and then uh, 8.5 is a yellowy undertone, but it is lighter than eight. And then we have number nine, which is a pink undertone. Okay, so the next new shade is 10.5. So I'm gonna start with shade 10 which is a warm tone undertone. Then we have 10.5, that's a nice gradient. Okay, then next we have C11, which is very, very similar to 10.5. I mean, to me, they look like the same shade, but that is a really nice gradient anyway. If you are like in between these colors, you at least have a couple to choose from because they are very similar. Okay, so the next shade is 12.5, which I'm really excited about to see how it compares to 13 and 12. So let's go ahead and start with 12, which is what I usually highlight underneath my eyes with. So there we have 12. It's a gorgeous yellowy, slightly golden shade. Now I'm gonna swatch 12.5, which is that one right there. And then last but not least, we have C13, which I will swatch right there. So yes, 12.5 is definitely a better undertone for me. It's still warm tone, but it's not as orangey as 13. I mean, it's a nice addition to the lineup. Of course, 12.5 was definitely needed, but I just don't know if it's my right foundation shade. If anything, I might have to mix 12.5 and 13 to kind of get the right color for me. But yeah, that is the gradient guys, 12, 12.5 and 13. Oh, I almost forgot 13.5. They also released a 13.5. So I'm gonna try and include it on the lineup. Hmm, that might be a better foundation shade for me. Do you see that kind of neutral undertone to it? Yeah, 13.5 is definitely looking like my foundation shade, maybe mixed with 12.5, I will get the right undertone. 13 is just way too orange for me, but I like this 13.5. It's like a neutral golden undertone. I can definitely rock with this, but I feel like all over the face, it might be a bit too dark for me. That's why I might have to mix it with 12.5. I don't know, I'm gonna have to wait till they release, um, why do I keep saying concealers? I'm gonna have to wait until they release the shades in the foundation to kind of gauge what my all over face shade is. But yeah, that is all of the swatches, guys. Actually, let me swatch 13.5 right next to 14, just in case you are in between. Yeah, this looks like my all over face shade. Look at that. Oh, I love the undertone of this. Sorry, that was meant to be a swatch. <laughs> so I do my whole face. So that is 13.5 and then I'm just gonna do 14 right next to it so you guys can kind of get the difference. 
So if 14 was too dark for you, but 13 was too light for you, you definitely have 13.5 on the, you know, in between. That's what I was trying to say, not on the middle. So first I'm starting with the Revolution Pro Pore Primer. And I did get tons of questions asking me, do I think this works? And do you know what guys? I haven't particularly, particularly noticed a difference in my pores. Like once I get oily, it's kind of over for my pores. Like they come out to play. I think today I'm gonna take the shade 12.5 and I'm gonna like conceal my scars see this shade is a bit too light to be using all over like if I use this all over my face I would look casket ready no 12.5 is really it's a nice shade but it's really light so I'm not actually reviewing the concealer formula because I have already done a video for it and you, you guys know I use this in every single video I absolutely love this concealer so that is the shade 12.5 to cover my scars so it is really close to my skin tone but it's just a bit too light like if I used it as foundation all over my face I think I'd look a bit crazy however in my foundation drops video uh, you guys told me to test 14 with 12 to get the correct undertone for me because 13 is just way too orange and way too warm so i think i'm gonna try that today and see how we turn out i'm gonna mix 14 with 12 and hopefully we get the right shade going on here and i absolutely love these foundation drops like the formula of it it lasts all day it doesn't separate it doesn't turn weird like it, it's a really good foundation especially for seven pounds it's really really good so i'm gonna start with the shade 14 and just drop that onto my face and then i'm also gonna take the shade 12 and drop that onto my face guys i hope you are right here i feel like i'm being a chemist mixing up these two shades so let's just begin mixing Hmm. No. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I look great! Oh my god, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, so what I'm gonna do this time is take 13.5 and use that to cover my scars because last time I used 12.5, so now I'm gonna try 13.5. is a really nice shade, by the way, guys. I like the undertone. It's a little bit golden, but it's also quite neutral. It's a really nice shade, actually. It's kind of a perfect match. I like this color. I feel like once this evened out with, you know, um, under eye brightening concealer and whatever, I feel like it will be the right shade. Okay, yeah, I like 13.5. Okay, so I've kind of just used that as foundation and kind of put it everywhere. I like this shade for me. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but I feel like once I've put my concealer on underneath my eyes, like this will be the perfect shade for me. So what I'm gonna do is take my usual foundation, which is the Superstay by Maybelline and the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation. This one's too orange for me once again. Like, I don't know why it is with brands and putting like so much orange into my shade, but the EX1 has the perfect undertone for me. It's like, can you see it's like that golden cool tone? I really like this. This is the shade 14, by the way, which is the darkest shade they do not happy about that and then people turn around and say oh but they're meant to be a brand for yellow toned people and it's like darker skin does come in yellow tones are you all right like are you, are you okay so i'm just gonna take the shade 14 from ex1 and put that on my face and now i'm just gonna dab that in do you see the undertone of that foundation i love it why is my camera looking overexposed there we go Oh yeah guys, when I do eyeshadow, I've had a couple comments asking me to come in close and guys, I didn't do photography or anything like that. Every time I come in close, it goes overexposed and you can't see anything. It goes like white. I don't know how to fix it. I think it's my cam, is it my camera, my lens? I really don't know. So I try zoom in as much as I can when I'm doing my eyeshadow looks, but I can't give you like Nikki tutorials quality girl. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Maybe once I hit a million subscribers and I get my lighting on fleek, then we can talk. But but for right now, I'm doing, I'm working with what I have. Okay, so that shade match, I am very, very happy with. 13.5 underneath my foundation worked perfectly. Okay, so now that is applied, I'm gonna go off camera and do my eyebrows, my eyeshadow, and then I'll come back so we can apply the under eye highlight. I think I'm just gonna do one side C12, then one side C12.5, uh, so you guys can see the differences in the two shades underneath the eyes. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay guys, and I'm back. So eyebrows, eyeshadow, all of that jazz is on. So let's move on to concealer. So of course I have 12.5 and also 12 here. So I'm gonna, you know, put one on each side and then I'm gonna end up mixing them together. But I just want you guys to see the difference. So that is 12.5. 
and then this is shade 12. So I hope you guys can see the difference. 12.5 is just a little bit more golden, a little bit warmer, um, and of course it's like one shade darker. Whereas 12, I think I still like it for uh, brightening up underneath my eyes. So now I'm just gonna mix them up and put 12 on top of 12.5 and 12.5 on top of the other side, you know? Because before I used to mix 12 with 13, but now I can mix 12 with 12.5 uh, to get that right color for me. And then of course, as usual, just gonna dab that in with my sponge. And then what I think I'm gonna do today is take C16 and just contour my face. And then I'm just gonna take this Morphe E53 brush and just begin blending that in. Blends like a dream. Now I'm just gonna set my face as usual using the Sasha Buttercup Light Powder. Okay guys and I'm back so here we have the final look I hope you like it let me tell you quickly what I put on my lips so I went in with the revolution glory lip liner then I went in with the revolution pro uh, supreme matte lip matte I'm reading it upside down supreme matte lip pigment in the shade pretense which is this kind of nudie brown color but it was a little bit too cool tone to go with my eye look so I topped it with a little bit of gloss from the my sign revolution collection and this is the shade Aquarius however I checked on the website the other day and these are no longer available individually there's only two out of the four packs left and they're on sale so I think they've been discontinued which is really really sad because they are my favorite glosses from revolution I absolutely highly recommend these so if you can still get your hands on it definitely can before I suppose they're gone but I really really like these glosses anyway that's what I topped my lips with as for the concealers I'm really happy with the additional shades they've added for me personally 12.5 13.5 they're great additions but I definitely think there should be more additions to the there always can be more guys because obviously 25 shades is not going to suit everyone in the world but I love the effort that they've put in to try and you know fit everyone and definitely I will have to still mix a few shades but hopefully 12.5 and 13.5 helps a lot of other people out there as well because I saw tons of comments saying 14 is too dark and 13 is too light so if you are in between those two shades I definitely love 13.5 uh, 12.5 mixed with 12 underneath my eyes is the perfect shade for me and I'm very happy with it so that is it from me please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and found it helpful please subscribe to my youtube channel and I'll catch you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye